Now at 5 o'clock, Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healey is suing Juul. Claiming the company specifically targeted kids with its advertising and, as a result, contributed to the vaping epidemic. WBZ's Nick Emmons is live in Boston tonight with the latest. Nick? So this is the result of an investigation that began back in 2018. The attorney general says documents describe how the e-cigarette giant targeted kids. Let me be clear. This is a public health crisis in Massachusetts and around the country. And well attorney general Maura Healy calling out e-cigarette company Juul, blaming it for a youth vaping epidemic by intentionally choosing models and images that appealed to young people. It reveals for the very first time internal Juul documents and photographs from its original ad campaign that show exactly what this company was trying to do. In the lawsuit, Healy says Juul recruited young celebrities and social media influencers, knowingly advertised to underage people by email and purchased ad space on websites for Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. This is the first real window into Jewel's original marketing plan and what it did to target our kids. I remember the day that I first used Jewel. 19 year old Emma Tigerman was in 11th grade when she started vaping. When I raised it to my mouth and inhaled the sweet mango flavored vapor, it was as if I could feel the claws of the substance embedding themselves. Tigerman says she quickly became addicted. I found myself beginning to crave the relief of a hit, and if I waited too long in between, I would grow shaky and irritable. Jewel issued a statement in response to the Attorney General's lawsuit, saying in part, we do not intend to attract underage users. You can't run from the facts, you can't run from the emails or the documents, and when you're sworn and under oath, and we're taking your deposition, you have to tell the story. The attorney general also says that uh, the e-cigarette giant made thousands of shipments to Massachusetts but did not age verify the people who were receiving the e-cigarettes. Some of those accounts were created, by the way, with high school email accounts. As far as this lawsuit, the AG says that Jewel has 20 days to respond. In Boston, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. Nick